Thank you for agreeing to see me. The last thing I want is a former comrade taking up arms against me. Particularly when the odds are so against you. Hmm. Yes. Some wine? I've come to talk, not drink. Well, then talk. What are your demands? First, that you stop immediately. The slaughter of innocent priests and friars and your suppression of the monasteries. I will. And just as soon as they put to an end their corruption and decadence. They are innocent for the most part, as you well know. Be mindful of your tone. I am your king. Only as long as I allow you to live. And stay on the throne. And your second demand? That you return all the money and valuables that you have stolen from the churches. I need to fill the treasury somehow. How can I protect the country if I don't have the money? Stop giving the existing wealth to corrupt nobles and be more judicious in your choice of wars. It's a fine day when a simple lieutenant lectures the king on foreign policy. And a still finer day when a simple lieutenant is in charge of 50,000 men. And your third demand? That you punish those responsible for these abominations. You do realize I could have you executed on the strength of what I've heard here alone? Yes. I also realize that you have no choice but to comply. And if I do, if I do, do I have your word you'll take your followers back to York and never step outside the city gates again? You have my word. Right. Then I agree to all three demands. Huh? No, my lord. My lord, no! <laughs> and, and you, Robert. <laughs> you cheeky son. I may call you Robert. Yes. But I'd like to invite you to stay at my palace for two or three days. Your Highness is most kind. Uh, now, we, we fought together at Tournay, if memory serves. Well, a few of us get together every year and uh, celebrate the victory. Uh, I'd like you to come. I really must be returning. No, no, it's an invitation from the King, Robert. You say yes. Yes. Excellent. 